Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing two different looks with two of the quads from the Bizance collection. I've already done videos swatching all four of the quads from this collection and in the first video I put on the quad Cristal which I think is really beautiful and I've also done a separate video showing the quad Baroque. Now last night I had a play with these two quads that I'm going to be using today for the first time. So on one eye I put Imperial and the other one I put on Venetian. Today I'm going to put each quad on both eyes so you can get a really good look at them. I was really surprised by Imperial. I think it looks really gorgeous. Now also in today's video towards the end I will be using one of the new the oversized highlighters the one in Precious Coral and I have done a video using that one and also the one in Pearly White so I will be putting links up there. Now throughout the year I do put all my Chanel videos because I do quite a few so they are all in one playlist so if you want to have a look through at different Chanel looks or from this Byzance collection, then they are really easy to find. So I've already put my base makeup on. I have on primer, Chanel foundation, Chanel bronzer. I have done my eyebrows and I've also got eyeshadow primer on as well. So first of all, I'm going to be putting on the quad Venetian. And from comments that I've seen on Instagram, it tends to be similar to the Chanel Tissy quad. That is the one Vendome. But I don't have that quad so I can't compare it but what I will swatch today as well as all of these shadows is the one the brown shade against the one in the Bizance the one in crystal because they both have the brown shades one is cooler than the other so here is the quad 318 in Venetian and I will swatch this one on the back of my hand and then I'll turn down my lights so you can take a really good look at it. So these are swatched from left to right and top to bottom. So the brown is a matte. This and this shade over here is a topper shade and these two are satins. Now what I'm going to do, I've left a little bit of a gap by the brown shade. So now I'm going to swatch the one from the Cristal palette. So this is the shade from Cristal and this one here is the one from Venetian. So the one in Cristal is cooler and I've also just swatched them on my arm so you can take a better look as well. So this one is from Venetian and this is from Cristal. So you can see that Cristal is cooler. So let's try out this Venetian quad. As I was saying last night, I did a very quick look with this just on one eye without eyeliner or mascara. This is quite a soft color story, but I think it's really beautiful. Now this top of shade is, it has a green to it. It is really, really gorgeous. So I'm gonna take the Sonia G, this is the soft shader, and I'm gonna start with the shade first, and I'm gonna put this all over my lid. Then we're going to take the refer number 12 and I'm going to go into this brown here. Now this is quite a sheer shade so I quite like using this brush for that because it's dense but soft so I'll just pack in some color and then I will blend it out. This is a really lovely color story and just from the comments that I got after my first video it's quite interesting. Some people really are drawn to the more stronger colors like in the Baroque palette and others are looking at more the, the quad, the crystal one, the first one that I put on and this one here. But like I was saying, I, last night I put on Imperial and I'm going to have to take it back what I said about reds because although I haven't seen it with the eyeliner and mascara yet, but I thought it was really beautiful on. Then I'm just going to just blend that shade out a little bit. So when I tried it last night, this brown shade here, I did first of all try it with the Rafa 14 and you do get payoff and it's okay, but if you want just a bit more pigment, then you have to use a little bit more of a dense brush just to pack it on to begin with and then you can just blend it out. 
but if you wanted just a sheer wash of the color, then something like the Refa 14 brush does work really well. I'm gonna take the Refa number three, same with this darkest shade, and I'm gonna put this under my lower lash line. Now, if you want more payoff from these colors, you can also wet your brush as well using water or a setting spray. But I think today I'm just going to leave it. It looks like I'm getting enough payoff just using the dry brush. I'm gonna take the refit number 28, go into the shade here, and just put that over the top of the other shade. And through here now this is it's like a really beautiful beige gold type of color i think this is really really lovely now I've just wipe down the refer number three i'm gonna stay with the shade and i think what i'll do once i put this on i'm just gonna put it just in my lower lash line just through here and just in the middle just to meet that darker shade and then I think I'll do, I'll put some eyeliner mascara on, come back and show you, and then I'll go in over with the topper shade. I think that these three shades just by themselves are really beautiful. The topper shade is gorgeous too, but I'd just like to show you the look with eyeliner and mascara just with these three shades. This is a really, really beautiful quad. So here is the finished eye look. This is without the topper shade. I'm going to put that on in a minute. But these three colors just by themselves, that is a really beautiful eye look. I love this beigey gold here. I think it is, it's absolutely beautiful. These also blend really beautifully as well. So you do have to build it a little bit to get this look. You can go sheerer than this. I don't know whether you'll be able to go even more bold with this, but you can definitely go sheerer with this. So now let's put this topper shade on. I've wiped down the Rafa, this is the 28 brush. This is the one that I used to put the shade here on. I've just wiped it down. So I'm just gonna go into here. I'm gonna go fairly carefully. These do tend to have a little bit of fallout. So you can always wet the brush if you want. And I'm just going to just tap off the excess a little bit in front of me and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tap this over that shade here so this has a little bit of green in it this topper so again it just elevates the look again I think this is really beautiful I love topper shades anyway I've spoken about that before but I also like it with without the topper shade as well. Now I'm going to put a little bit of this in the inner corner as well. I'm just taking this brush again just to just to blend through there, just so I haven't got any harsh lines. So I'm going to take the refer number three. I think no, I won't take the refer number three. What I'll do is I'm going to take the sponge tip applicator. That came with this quad to put this in the inner corner these are often really good when you do have a shade that has a little bit of fallout you tend to get less using a sponge applicator or by wetting a brush which i would have done with the Rafa 3 so that is placing it on really beautifully this is really gorgeous in the inner corner i think this is beautiful so here is the finished look with the top of shade on it is really beautiful it is gorgeous in the inner corner you can definitely see more of that sea green in there really pretty and i know people are going to ask me probably to <laughs> rank these quads and i probably will be able to but every time once i put one on and then especially once i've got the eyeliner and mascara on as well i really just like well at this stage the individual color stories. I think this is a really gorgeous collection. So now I'm going to wash my eye makeup off and then I'll be back and put on the last of the quads. That's the one in Imperial. And my break's probably gonna be, 
at least in an hour or so. My husband's just rung and he's going to pop down and get us some morning tea and bring it home. He's going to have a coffee and some morning tea as well. But after that, I'll be back. So I've had my coffee and I also had a sugar donut with it as well. So good. But let's get into this other eyeshadow quad and the last one that I am reviewing from the Bizance collection. And we have got number 308 and this is Imperial. This is really beautiful on the eye. A really gorgeous quad. So again, these are swatched from left to right and top to bottom. So first of all, we have a yellow sapphire. That is a satin. And these two middle ones are mattes. I thought that might be a satin, but I think that is more of a matte. It's very smooth. And Chanel described this one as a red quartz and this one as a garnet. And lastly, we have the top shade and this is in a rose gold. So I've wiped down all my brushes and I'm going to go in again using the Sonia G, the soft shader. And I'm going to start off with this shade here. And I'm going to put this one all over the lid. So this has, has quite a bit of payoff. And just like with the other quads, this also blends out really beautifully as well. So I'm dying to see this one once I've finished and got eyeliner and mascara on because when I used it last night, I didn't have the eyeliner and mascara, but I still thought it looked really lovely and so much more beautiful than I thought it was going to. So I think once I've finished the whole eye look and then got blush and lipstick on as well, I think it's going to look really, really pretty. Next, I'm going to take the Riff 14. I'm going to go into this shade here that Chanel described as Garnet. And I'm just trying to think what I put on my lower lash line. When I was trying it out last night, I think I put this shade underneath when I said I would never put reds underneath. And then I think I went over with this shade here and it actually looked really lovely. Then I'm going to take the raffin number three. I'm going to stay with this shade and I am going to put this on my lower lash line. So with this quad, I don't need to use the brush. That was the raffin number 12, like I did with the other one. I think I used it with the other three, with the other three quads actually. That is the 12 and it is quite dense to pack in the color. You don't need to with this one. There's definitely enough pigment. So at the moment, it's all looking a bit red, but you've got to trust the process. And once the other two shades go on, it really does look quite beautiful. Then I'm going to take the Riffa 28, go into this shade here. This is really beautiful. And once I started putting this on, that's when I knew that I was going to like the final look. Now with this one, also what I do is take it up through here as well so with my mature eyes and hooded eyes i really want this to show so i put quite a bit through here and i think it starts to look like you know that drink the tequila sunrise it starts to look like that it is really beautiful and i've wiped down the refer three i'm going to stay with this yellow shade and I'm going to put that on the lower lash line and I'm going to take it over the red as well and I've wiped down the raffer 28 and now we're going to go into this really beautiful top of shade and this is why I took the yellow shade more up higher here because once this goes over this is really beautiful you can lose a little bit of that really gorgeous yellow. So I still want the yellow to be seen, but I'm just going to just tap a little bit more of that rose through there. 
and there doesn't seem to be fallout as much with this top of shade as with the other quads but in any event I'm going to put some of this in, in a corner I'm going to use a sponge tip applicator and I'm going to just tap this in the very in a corner So now I'm going to use the new Chanel, this is from the Les Symbols collection. This is, well I call it a blusher really, these are face illuminators, but this one works beautifully as a blush. As I showed you in my previous video showing this one, the Precious Coral, and also the one Pearly White, although I think that one works for me more as a topper, and that's because they are different formulas. But this is just absolutely beautiful so today I think I'm going to try it with another brush again a different one than the other two that I used in the previous video and I'm going to use the Sony G this is the classic crease and just pop that on I just thought this would go really beautifully with this eye lock this is a beautiful warm blush and there were at least a couple of people that thought this reminded them, not the shade, but perhaps the formula of that really beautiful limited edition blush that Chanel put out earlier this, this year. It was this year, I'm losing track of time. And that was the fantasy blush. So I have got that in front of me. So I will swatch those on this one and that one on the back of my hand just to see if the formula... Is similar I'm thinking that thinking that it possibly is this is just beautiful I had someone comment that these highlighters just or illuminators just weren't pigmented enough but for me they are and although this one can be used just as an illuminator and I think this would also be really beautiful on the lids it works really well as a blusher I just think it is absolutely gorgeous and I am so pleased that I have this in my collection it's just absolutely gorgeous so this is the gorgeous blush that I was talking about this is that really beautiful pink so I'll swatch this one on the back of my hand do a really decent swatch and now I am swatching the coral highlighter and I'll show you I'll hold my hand up in a minute it looks like the one that's the blush I think the formula is similar they're smoother but it looks like the blush that has has more illumination to it but then that could be because of the shade as well because it's a cooler shade and it's got the cooler highlight in it as well mixed in that could be why I think it's just showing a little bit more but formula wise it feels like the precious coral it's just as smooth goes on just as beautifully as this one here so I'll just turn down my light and hold my hand up again just so you can take a closer look so the Fantasy blush and precious coral highlight so here is the finished look with the beautiful the chanel the bizance the imperial quad so i'll just close my eyes and when editing i'll zoom in so you can take a closer look this quad surprised me so much I bought all four because I know people love the Chanel collections and I thought and especially after using the Baroque quad that has that red in it that I don't particularly like this quad with the reds I think is absolutely beautiful like I said it looks like that drink the tequila sunrise and it just has this beautiful warmth I think what makes this quad is probably the yellow satin shade and also the top of shade as well. But in any event, I just think it looks really beautiful. 
and this is a color story that I would wear for my everyday makeup. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I really love the Venetian quad as well. In particular, the topper shade has that beautiful green, has a bit of fallout, but for the inner corner, I just think it's absolutely stunning. And like I said, when I reviewed the oversized illuminator in my video alongside the other one in pearly white, I think these are beautiful. I love the shade. I think it is absolutely gorgeous and I think it goes really beautifully with this eye look. And even though this is huge and I probably won't ever use it all up because I do have a lot in my collection, this is one that I will reach for quite a bit it is just such a really really lovely shade so overall what do i think of the whole bizance collection i think it is gorgeous i said this in my very first video that i was really worried that these were going to be far too sheer they wouldn't show up this quad in particular as i was saying with the garnet shade in the outer corner i didn't even have to use that smaller denser brush i could use my usual rafa 14 and i certainly got a lot of pigment now with the other three quads i did have to use this rafa brush to get we'll just pack a little bit more color in and then blend it out but it really depends on your personal preference i don't mind an eyeshadow where I can build it up. I prefer that because there's some days where if I wanted to go sheerer with this quad, I certainly could. There would be no issues with that. But when you want to build it up and have more of this bold, gorgeous look, then you can do that as well. So that's what I really like with eyeshadows. It's as long as you can blend them out. They go well on the eye. They last well. And also you can blend them up and build them up. Then I think that is a really good formula. And I also love the packaging in this Bizance collection. I think the hammered gold looks really beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And I also love it that it's in here as part of the palette inside. So when you open it up, you're always seeing this really beautiful gold color so overall i think it is a really lovely collection now these have launched in canada i think these are also in australia and i understand that they are in the uk i think harrods had them i do think selfridges had them but selfridges may have sold out and they're also available elsewhere in europe so there's people ask me when these are going to be available in the us now at this stage i mean i don't know the exact dates but i do think that the us is getting that other beautiful four collection with the two big blushes and the loose eyeshadows that's going to be around, I think, mid-August. And then this Bizance collection for the US, I think that's probably going to be round about the 1st of September. Well, that's what I've heard anyway. But it is worth the wait. I think it is really gorgeous and it is far better than I thought it was going to be really, really beautiful. So that's it for today's video. I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed. And I will see you next time. Bye.